Well, it's time to head back to the UK, heading eventually to Northern Ireland, but via Harwich for an MOT, London for a visit, Bournemouth for a visit, and onwards to Scotland after that. This is the ship that's going to take me there. I think it's the Stena Britannica. It's about a six and a half hour trip today. I've already reviewed this particular boat. I won't film too much on board, but it's still nice to have you along. <music> I wanted to use the Stena Plus lounge on this trip, but sadly it was sold out. I thought if I rolled up, there might have been a cancellation, but it wasn't to be. But because I'm an extra member, I managed to get an inside cabin, which means I could have a nap or a shower if I really wanted to, for about 30 euros. That's about 25 pounds, about 30 dollars. So I decided for the six and a half hour trip, it would give me a quiet place to work or just chill out. few hours later, on day sailings, you get chucked out of the cabin about an hour before arrival. I had a nap, I got some work done, I had a refreshing shower, and now it's an hour before arrival. So let's go out and see what we can see on the deck. On the car deck. Hello, good morning. That's a strange shirt. This is the first time you've seen me in a while. Ooh. Well, I'm in Scotland now. Thank you, how are you? I'm not too bad. Uh, to the Bowers Road. I've been hearing a lot online about this particular deli, which is called Eusebi. I think it's Italian themed, but also known for its cakes and coffee, and I'm going to try some of that. So let's see what it's like. Crisp. Smells of strawberries. Mmm. Sensational. My bill for a little strawberry tart and uh, coffee was £9.10p, which is about £2 more than I expected it to be, so it's quite expensive. And that expense will rack up if you're here with a group of people. But I have to say, it's excellent, so what do you do? Well, that was quite enough flowers for one day. Time to head on to my next destination. Everything's very busy here on the underground on the metro station because I think Rangers might be playing a game of football. Yeah. It's busy pretty much everywhere in Glasgow today. Buchanan Street, the shopping district is jammed. But it's good to see it busy again after Covid.
Ciao. So I'm on the 417 out to Bells Hill after a lovely little visit to Glasgow. It's not too crowded yet. This is the train that goes to Edinburgh. I think the Fringe Festival is either on or starts this weekend. Bells Hill will get me within a 25 minute walk of where I've parked my motorhome. So after a lovely wee trip to Glasgow, it's time to head on. I'm getting the ferry from here in Scotland back over to Northern Ireland. Later this afternoon, this campsite, which is called Strathclyde Country Park, has turned out to be really lovely. I've spent four nights here. When I get back, maybe a few things are going to change. Let's talk about that at the end of this video. Well, I'm back in this beautiful corner of Northern Ireland, which is where my storage unit is. But why do I need a storage unit for Barbara? Hmm, is something unfolding? There's something I haven't talked a lot about, and that is the fate of Barbara Bailey. After four months on the road, I came to a decision point. What happens next with Barbara Bailey? My options are to put her into storage, which costs about 500 pounds sterling for the winter, or to sell her, and move on. I've decided to sell her. I'm about to drop her back to the original retailers who have bought her back. Well, here we are. It's a sad day for Barbara Bailey, returning to the dealership from when she came. But it's a happy day for me. It's the right decision. And as I move into this next phase of travel, I'm looking forward to what that's going to bring. So thanks for being here for this episode of Planet Patrick.